What's up everybody, Andrew and Sarah here. It is officially the moment you have all been waiting for. I know everybody's been on the edge of their seats to see what we got in Bend this weekend. Uh, it was a lot of time spent in the thrift store. Definitely took a lot of stamina, but we got through it and now we're ready to show everybody what we have. So before we go any further, please smash that like and subscribe button so you can follow along. So where do we start? <laughs> well, uh, let's... I'm gonna start at the first thrift store. Sure. So I think this is mostly, most of the things from the first thrift store, the first thrift store. The first thrift store is kind of a little hole in the wall, like not like a chain or anything, just a small town. Yeah, like. we'd been there before. Um, it is, and I don't think we found anything last time we were there. I wasn't expecting a lot, but we knew we had all weekend, so we thought we'd check it out. Um, but we grabbed a few things. Um, this was a free people, just like a crop tank top well there's that's all there is um and we paid five dollars for it i don't know if i didn't look up comps or anything um but i saw free, free people, people. Oh, and I, thought I gotta have it <laughs> well this was our first trip too and i think i said it in the vlog but i'm really not used to doing thrift stores because usually i do the bins and that's pretty much it so um this was like a reintroduction to like actually thrifting at thrift stores again um, so I think everything we got is great, but maybe there are some things that more seasoned thrifters, uh, would have been thought I paid too much for, but yeah, this was $5. Um, and it's in really good condition. I thought it'd be perfect for summer. So that was like the first thing I grabbed. First thing you grab, just like that. I also have a really hard time turning down certain brands. Like if I see yeah. free people, so I'm I probably find, gonna I grab a pair it. Of Lululemons with a big old hole in them, and I'd still take them. I did not grab a Lululemon shirt though at one of the stores, yeah, but that's true. That's much to my dismay. I know. I didn't. I knew you didn't like it. <laughs> All right. Here's these. These were another. Oh, from so that these one. were um, a pair of natives. I've actually seen little kids natives at the bins, and I didn't pick them up. But then I saw another video. I was watching someone pick them up and said you could make money on them. So I saw. Um, these adult natives and um, thought they needed a little bit of cleaning but I think I paid uh, maybe five dollars for these as well something uh, like some, somewhere along that line and um, thought I'd try it out see how they do cool. and that I mean there's a couple other little things from that but those are kind of like the more notable items from that first thrift store after that we after that, we went straight to the other thrift store, right? And this is where we really started to hit our stride. Right? This is where <laughs> yeah, I really was... just came into my own as a thrifter. Still missed some things, but Sarah was able to back me up in the fourth quarter and uh, get us the win. So yeah, there. Uh, yeah, we'll. Start so we actually, through. yeah, we went to this thrift store twice. So I'm not sure which of these things is going to be from which trip because we ended up going back, but. Um, yeah, so, it, it was really exciting. <laughs> so at this thrift store, we found a ton of soft surroundings. And at first, I kind of like glanced over it. But I think at one point I asked you, like, soft surroundings, is that a good brand? And you no, said, I found some. And I was like, yeah. oh, I found some soft surroundings. But, but I had several. seen a bunch. You had I seen a bunch. I had seen a bunch and I didn't ask you about it. So that's <laughs> like one of those things where it's like, well, now I know where I didn't before. So um now i would know to grab that and i found a bunch after that as well as all the stuff you found so yeah and they're all uh, i it must have been from the same person i'm assuming that dropped it off because um a lot of it is in like one x which i was excited um because i'm always happy to pick up um plus size or anywhere in that range i think it sells really well um so we found this in soft surroundings you're gonna see a ton of stuff soft surroundings um free there's a lot of free people there too there's a lot of free people some ll bean an ll Look bean corduroy jacket i'm having a hard time remembering pricing and it's all priced remember. by yeah it's by category category so like i'd see this jacket and i think there was a heavy outerwear and a light outerwear so and it makes I, it hard to like know what's what too because like yeah well i even think like the first guy because when we rang up the we went in two separate times the first guy rang some of the stuff up he ran, he were wearing up everything as light outerwear yeah. Where, like, some of them are like, well, that's a big, heavy jacket. I don't know how you distinguish that. Yeah. But then, like, the second guy rung stuff up in a different category. I was like, I don't know. So, either mm. way, like... I just made sure that I was willing to pay, like, the higher of the two. Like, say yeah. it was heavy or light. Like, was I willing to pay that? No, I think it was $10 price. Like, so I, was made, I made sure that I was 
happy to pay that also. Yeah, so this actually is the first thing I, I found, a pair of L.L. Bean jeans. Um, and they actually were a blue tag, which the blue tag was the 50% off at that store. So I want to say those were like four bucks. Something like yeah, that. something so like that for your that four was, bucks. That was my first find right there. <laughs> and L.L. Bean, Andrew has a hard time putting down. Too. I just, something about <laughs> it, I don't know. I, I mean, it just, yeah. Oh, I feel like I'm always gonna pick this it up. dress. That was, was the first. Like, that was the first free. Night. So this is a free people like really cute like boho dress. We were in one of the aisles and I, he was asking me about something because usually when we're there, Andrew will like pick a bunch of stuff, bring it to me, and I'll sift through it. Yeah. So I, he had brought a bunch of stuff to me, um, and for whatever reason, I like turned around in the aisle and this was just like sitting right there. Just staring at you, just glowing. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think the dresses were like in the six dollar range, um, but this is in like perfect condition it's so cute um and like i said i almost am never gonna turn down finding a free people <laughs> got a little mlb jersey so. oh i have i could not find comps on this i feel like anything but like it was half like, off so and it's super vintagey and cute when i was younger like i wore a lot of like jerseys and stuff like sports teams and like anything like yeah. embroidered like that is gonna be where you're easily yeah i think i paid that probably paid two or three bucks yeah. for it so yeah. i thought i'm gonna grab it it's cool and different cool and different oh some lucky brand new with tags lucky brand new with tags um and i think i paid probably in the four dollar range for it um and it is a large just an oversized sweater um lucky brand sells pretty well for us and I yeah we have a decent amount of lucky new with so tags is never never a bad soft thing surroundings um yeah another 1x soft surroundings just a, a long sleeve blouse but all of it's in great shape um just needs a little steaming i think i found this this is a free people like just button up my first free people out in the wild really yeah but the only thing is it had to stain but you thought you could get it out yeah i think as i don't know it's pretty i mean we'll see we'll see i, I have faith in you <laughs> if anybody can, can get that stain out at sarah i know i probably but no, I'll, I'll work on it a little bit, but I thought it was cute and oh. <clears throat> it'll work. It's free people. I was also at this point getting a little like excited because we were finding a lot of good stuff. So I was like, yeah, throw it in the car. <laughs> yeah. Soft surroundings. Uh, I don't know, border or something like that. I what? I think it's a border. Can you see it? The pink thing? Yeah. Well, I guess if you <laughs> Oh, it's a Bowden shirt. Oh. <laughs> you just, it just didn't excite you. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> I mean, I feel like... Yeah. Um, well, I was excited Somebody... about this. It's a Bowden. Um, just Bowden. A Apparently Bowden's blouse. exciting, and I did not know that. Well, so. I think it's Forgive anthropology, me. I Forgive believe. Me. Or... What about one? Nanette? Is the Nanette Lepore exciting? I looked at... I did, had never like seen wool it. Was it like wool or something? Like 100% like wool or something? It was wool I think I find, Didn't I find this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, then it must have been exciting if I found it. <laughs> yeah. I don't see the... It's in there. Makeup. Viscose, polyester, and nylon. No, um, I'm, I'm, I know I checked comps on it, um, and it was Nanette Lepore. Um, I thought it was a nice little sweater. Oh, so here's some of those jackets. So some actually, yeah, some pretty nice jackets, like some big, this is like a Columbia, I believe. I think I found these too, because there was all these jackets that weren't like priced, basically. Yeah, they did, and yeah. They, like they were in an area where things were supposed to have like individual prices, but none of these were, so I think we got them at like the price of whatever jackets were, but yeah, this is pretty heavy. Yeah, it's a 2X, um, um, and it like brand new, yeah. like a puffer jacket. Um, so I and I think we ended up paying the lower price for it, but I, like I, I was happy to pay that. Or something like yeah. That. yeah, even if it was ten dollars, I was happy to pay that. What is that? Oh, so this is a cool. Oh, I just yeah. I saw um, something about this brand. I was doing my own research after this trip. <laughs> I started watching some videos and stuff, um, and trying to figure out like brands on because I was like, I gotta get better, right? Like if I'm gonna pass over some of this <laughs> stuff, like I passed over a lot of money this weekend, so. Um, yeah, just learning opportunities, and I did see that cool. I think if I would have known, like, well, it doesn't like, say cool, I, I know, just know it's the like logo. Really small, but I feel like I've heard of it before, but I did somebody did mention that in one of their videos, so uh, I don't remember who it was, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a cute, like, lightweight um, top. I saw the logo, I, I knew that it was probably not in their like spend your area because probably nobody knew, 
um because it doesn't say it on here and it's kind of a lesser known brand but i know it should yeah. do pretty well we the we the free yeah so another um i i can't remember i think we the free is like a free people like subcategory or sub brand i know i've sold pants or jeans and we the free um but i thought that was a cute little top and so like i said i can't anything free people i can't turn yeah, it down you just got a pants on it so these are all i found all these like these were other things that were in that area where like there was no prices on them i found that you found okay okay you found the, the stuff underneath, the stuff <laughs> underneath i found sorry my mistake well i don't know if you would have known vineyard vines i feel like i would have asked you about it i would have seen that little hippo thing or that whale that little pink whale and i've been like hey I have never, I have a few, I have one other thing I found at the bins that's Vineyard Vines. It hasn't sold, um, but I looked up comps on this and I knew it was a brand that other people pick up or don't, I mean, it's not like a pick whole. Up or they don't. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> you either pick it up or you don't. Just one or the other. It's not like a, have a choice run type of brand, but I wanted to try it out because it's in such good condition. It's just a, a gingham, like long what sleeve is, shirt. What, is, what does gingham mean? What it's like, <laughs> I, I as it was coming out of my mouth, I was like, yeah, I bet he's no, gonna hold on, pause right here. What the heck does that mean? That's <laughs> it's not a this word. pattern, it's like not plaid, what? but it's gingham. I would call that just a plaid style shirt, like, there's still little squares. Every reseller watching, this. okay, I'm sure, yeah, okay, yeah, you probably have a, there's a, a population of people that would call that a gingham shirt, but if somebody came up to me and said, Hey, nice shirt, what style is it? I certainly wouldn't say gingham. Now you will. I certainly will not. <laughs> I will still call it a plaid shirt. Anyways, we'll move on. Okay. Uh, this Show is us a, what nice, found. a nice little prana button up. Mm -hmm. So I've never found men's quite, prana. Not quite the uh, gingham style of the last piece, but <laughs> no. still nice. And then I think all, yeah, all these were in that same area. So uh, you probably found this one too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. Whatever. So so far, I'm striking out all over the place. Helly Hansen. Helly Hansen is a really good brand. Um, this is a super nice button up. I think I paid five bucks for it. Um, just a men's, I, well, maybe, probably I men's. All this. I, I, I. Um, yeah, I know. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Yeah, so I saw Helly Hansen. I didn't even question it. I knew I was going to pick it up. I know I found this one because it's Patagonia. Yeah, I think that's the only Patagonia we found this weekend. Well, we found that one, but we weren't going to pay. Yeah, that's the, that the that's the only one we picked up. So you got our only Patagonia, if that and makes you feel any better. REI. REI does decent, I feel like. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else? Lucky Brand. New, new Tags. New Tags. Sweater. Um, with the new tags. I think it's so cute. It's like a oversized turtleneck. Uh, size XL. I feel like that would fit me. Should I bring jean jackets back? It's a, it's a I nice think it's a women's two. Well, yeah, that's probably not like. And so I'm not saying it won't fit you. But like <laughs> jean jackets, right? Like who doesn't miss jean jackets? I, I wear jean jackets. Men like maybe wear once less. every six months. Yeah, with like a dress. I guess they're just they're not like they were it's in the not, 80s. No, and 90s. no, this is a cut from the cloth though, and um, like I said, it's women's two X, so. Um, I found both of these. Well, yeah, it's a women's jacket. And then a Levi's jean jacket. Yeah. <clears throat> I think those would pay the seven dollar range for yeah. it. Another Columbia Omni Heat, nice little puffer style jacket. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Good, I didn't get corrected. I was right. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think this was all still from our first and trip then that too. Being Puffer vest. Yep. Uh, most of it, yeah. And I think, I think, so. I think, I think this is our the, first. Yeah, and then those might be our second. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we were like Another Columbia hitting puffer. home runs all over the place, I felt like. The old Columbia Puffer. I would have stayed. I forgot we had some jeans too. <laughs> uh, Andrew was like, let's take a break. I was <laughs> steam, man. Like, okay, I'm pretty tall. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video. I'm like six foot three. Yeah. And like those racks, they're like down here. So my neck is just like the whole time at this. Well, weird I was fine angle. with taking a break, but I was like, "There's more. I know there's more." I gotta build up my stamina. Like, look, like I, I'm pretty fit for like a CrossFit athlete, but when it comes to thrifting, like it's just a whole other level. It's a different of kind of workout. Yeah, 
Vigos, Vigo, how do you pronounce it? Vigos? V Vigos, or Vigos, I don't know. Vigasi? You actually passed found those too, in. and I, I passed them. You passed them? Like you would have passed them, or you saw them and No, I passed them, them, they got to go into the Some car. Some free people jeans, I think I found those, I did find those. I think you did, yeah. They're like a flare people. too, which I know the kids love these days, and oh, I was man, excited. totally in style. Well, but yeah, are. no, when you're at the thrift store for like, we were there for like two, three hours, which is a long time, a long time for me. I'm um, used to going to the bins for like, seven hours though six hours seven hours yeah and then these are i found these too these burton those. these burton snowboarding pants yeah Somebody i almost so he brought them to me and i could tell they were kids right away are they kids mm -hmm. um and so i almost passed yeah, because my burton, like... i know i have this um like knee-jerk reaction to pass on kids stuff which i need to get better at not doing because i looked up comps and i think there were comps for like 60 Golden 70 bucks Burton. see that's right there that's why i came through i earned my this? cake with the yeah yeah no i'm glad you did <laughs> what'd you just throw over there just a jack <laughs> nobody's, worried. <laughs> nobody's worried about that nobody cares about that jack <laughs> actually it's just a sweater what do you think it is i don't remember that's why i want to know oh i found this didn't i find this one and I looked up some, and there's no like direct. Con I did find the this scotch one. and soda or something. Like how that? did you remember that? You saw because I looked it up too. They, how did you remember that? That's what that was. But yeah, because I looked so it up too. Scotch and soda. Yeah. Um, Mystery yeah. item of the weekend. Well, I think it's 100 percent wool. That's what it was. Yeah. Where and it's a it? men's sweater. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it is. It is. Well, we'll see. We'll see how good your memory is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see how good your memory is. It's the Netherlands. Maybe they don't put that on the tag. Yeah, it's below. It doesn't say anywhere what material. Give me this. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, I looked up comps on it, and they were kind of. It was hard to find, but they were all over the place. And it is fifty percent wool, fifty percent linen. Where did you find that? Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is nice. um and so i i kind of took a chance on it but i thought it was just a nice like pullover sweater <clears throat> a nice little gym shark workout yeah tank. i've never found a men's gym shark gym shark at all um i found it at the bins before but that i think i paid two dollars for it so oh Amazing, beautiful, strong, faithful humans. This isn't like a brand or anything. I just saw it and I thought, I somebody think I... Somebody will want it. Somebody will want it. Yeah. It's a nice, like, larger size. I think it's it's a large. Um, and yeah, it's just a cute, like, mom shirt that I liked. And so I thought I'd pick it up. Just so you know, everything I'm putting to the side is all soft surroundings. We've already established that we found a lot of soft surroundings. What? You're not going to show them? Well, they saw as I was going through. Okay. <laughs> you tell us next time in the comments. Did you would see you all the stuff? Would you <laughs> like me to pull out those surrounding sweaters? Here's another free people dress. Yeah. Um, here's another free people dress. <laughs> um, just a basic. Standard run-of-the-mill free people dress. Oh, the size is washed out. I think it might say medium. Um, but yeah, just a cute summer dress. More free people, free, 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 free. Um, just a black blouse, oh. and I think a lot of the dresses were like six dollar range. The shirts are like four or five. The soft surroundings, leggings, those are like heavy, yeah. super heavy. Yeah. What is this? Some more soft surroundings, leggings. I think Not you brought quite those as heavy. To me. Not quite as heavy as the last. Yeah, because they weren't like in great condition. I don't know. I think they are. They need I mean, um, maybe just, like washed yeah, or steamed or. I'll wash them. I give them the old wash. A little love. A little love. A little tender love and care. Yes. Okay, I don't even know what this thing is. Come it's on. A, it's a Madewell um, top. And I sometimes pass on Madewell, but I think I grabbed it because it is 100% silk. Let me see. Yeah, it's 100% silk. So, um, after looking at that, I thought for sure I was going to grab it. And it is super lightweight, just needs a little steam, and I love it. 
some Nike compression shorts, anything like Nike compression shorts, pants always seems to sell pretty well. And, and like really, overnight. And like these, usually. you can tell this would probably wear off pretty quick and it's still They're like brand, brand new. Back, yeah. So that is solid. I'll call those some solid compression shorts. Athleta. Is that Athleta or Athleta? I say Athleta. I would say Athleta. Then it's Athleta. <laughs> it's an Athleta two, workout two to, top. Two to none. These were, what were these? Oh, I consider Fabletics. keeping these. Really? That Maybe weird tie thing in the front? That's in the back. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, the weird tie thing in the back? <laughs> How do you tie it if it's in the back? You don't tie you it. Don't it's tie just it. a... It's just a weird design. Uh, they're a little... I can't tell the... <sighs> going so fast. Don't I pull so I can't tell the size. I would have to guess that they're like a large or extra large. And um well, after I have this baby and get back in the gym, I may not be back in my regular leggings. So I thought about holding on to them for a little bit. Another free people blouse. Uh gosh, this is for sure the most free people I've ever found, like ever, maybe. Um but yeah, couldn't turn her down. So these are some cycling shorts. I found these. Yeah. Um, there's price tags on for 180 bucks. Then they were like marked down to like 90. Um, well, the markdown price. Well, the markdown is price 180, is 180, and then they were marked down again to 80. Well, they're marked down like three times. You can't see them all. But either way, pretty spendy for some cycling shorts. Well, the brand is. Let's see if I can try to see the brand. Descent. I don't know. Um, it's a size small, new with tags. I, we probably paid four or five bucks for them. Um, and yeah, after seeing the clearance price they wanted for them, I thought for sure we should grab them. That was a soft surrounding stop. I held it up. Everybody saw it. They loved it. <laughs> More soft surroundings. Big old yeah. buttons on that bad boy. If you like buttons, hit us up. <laughs> oh, God. I, this is in our we didn't say but this was the second time we went back yeah, so we went so and like got settled in our hotel room took a break um and then we were they closed at seven so i, I wanted to go back and i knew they weren't open on sunday um this i grabbed because it's a vintage sugoi um cycling shirt and I saw it with the cool like print and i immediately thought i'd probably pick it up but i looked up comps just in case and they were really great. I didn't find this exact one, but um, I like that it's vintagey and just different. This, I don't remember seeing this. So, I grabbed it. Um, a Piranha, new with tags, sports bra. Yeah. New with tags. Yeah. Okay, this. No, I think no. we should start really? here. Oh man, I was all excited. No, go for it. No, no you no, got no, excited. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I thought we'd end with those. Well, now we let the anticipation build. Okay, so, we got like, some oh, exciting man, stuff. Oh man, what do I got? <laughs> You know, you know how that goes. Yeah. Sun Mountain. Oh, so flex. I had never heard of it. Um, it's a women's, just a jacket. It was half off because it was the blue tag. And, and I looked at comps. I'm having a hard time remembering what I saw, but I want to say in the 60 to 70 range. Um, and we probably paid five for it. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited to see how that does. It's a Nike sports bra. That was also a half offer, so I think it's only like two bucks. Yeah. yeah. Some more you threw those in. Some more cycling shorts. I couldn't find a lot on them. They're vintage. They're, They're vintage. vintage They're so cool. I figured somebody would like them. I don't know. Ultima. Ultima. Made in Italy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but they're cool. I, I don't think we paid much for them, so. Some Nike leggings. They were half off, so they were only a couple bucks. Yeah. It's funny, because you think, like, oh, a couple bucks, but, like, when you go to the bins, like... I know. Like, this is what's. The, it was hard for me. They're soft surroundings, and that is very soft. Take a feel. That is soft surround. I love this actually because it is like a super soft, like over jacket thing. Um, and I think still in that one X size. It's all done. Yeah, if I'm so excited about all that stuff. I've only found soft surroundings one or two other times. I know a lot of people pick it up, especially in the larger sizes. So I was so happy. That's Athleta. Just the top. Did you hold it up? I, I held it up. Did you not see it? I didn't see it, but that's okay. I don't know I how well you. I held it up, but it was held up. We'll see. Editing Sarah. We'll take a look. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, if you can find a way to edit it higher up, then you, <laughs> okay. then you win. 
I don't know if you can say that one. I don't know. What is it? Papillon? Papillon? Papillon. I Papillon. grabbed this at the last minute, I remember. Um, I think it's a... I looked up comps while Andrew was checking out, and I saw it, and I was like, I'm going to go look it up because it's really cute. Um, Papillon. 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 Um, just a cute summer dress. I know I looked up comps, but I can't remember what they were for, but I what thought is it was this thing? What is this? You handed that to me, first of all. August Silk. Yeah, it was half off. Um, I've sold an August silk cardigan before that I found at the oh. bins. I don't think I got a ton for it, but with it being half off and oh, people I don't know, these. I grabbed Hikers it. love these. This Mountain Hardware little old vest thing. Yeah, it was half off. And I think I grabbed it because it was half off. Yeah. Um, but that'll make a, that'll make a hiker very happy. Mm, yes. <laughs> or anyone, I guess. I found these these North Face Apex, like. Uh, just like I want to say they're necessarily like, yeah, they're kind of like snow pants, but like heavy duty. Like you can just get some work done in these pants. <laughs> yeah. They're like either hiking or snow pants. For, like, yeah. I don't know that they would be snow pants. They're not, I don't think they're like, well, but they say Summit Series, so you would think, but like they don't feel like they'd be super warm. I don't know. We'll have to do some. Who knows? I'll have well, to do well, some Well, I looked research. up comps. Oh, okay. were, yeah, I think they were in like the, well, new, they are like over a hundred bucks and Sold comps for around like 50, 60, I think. Yeah. Is this bad boy? Oh, what do you know? Any guesses on what brand this is? <laughs> it could have been a free people. I, could have I feel like it's it a, it's one of the soft surroundings the we found. It's a nice um like cardigan type jacket. It's so re it's really soft. It's so soft. <laughs> if you could believe it. it. Hence the name soft if surroundings. You could that believe is also it. soft surroundings. Lucky brand. Um what do you call this? I want you to figure it out. It's a, is it a Komodo? No. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. I mean, I know you can know I say it. that on the video? Yeah. Can I? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, um, it's what a, is it? If I said blouse, would you t be able to tell me what kind of blouse it is? Oh, jeez. <laughs> I have no idea. You're going to be so mad when I, I say no, it. A, oh, yeah. What is that type of blouse? I told you it started with a P. Yeah, uh, nah, no, <laughs> dang it, not a periwinkle blouse. <laughs> oh man, it's right there. Cause you had a bunch of them for a long time, and I was like, why are you calling it that? Oh my gosh, I don't want you to tell me, but you're gonna have to, otherwise this video is gonna be really long. <laughs> Peasant blouse. Peasant blouse. I knew that. <laughs> dang it. I knew Moving you knew. On. I knew you knew it. That's Moving all that matters. <laughs> It's a soft surroundings. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely a soft surroundings. Yeah, uh, you can just tell by how soft it is on the they are, touch. They're okay, but From they're the like touch, really good you can tell quality. That they are. Um, just a I zip. Bet this, I knew this was soft surroundings. Coat. There's one soft. big old button on that bad boy. So if you like a lot of buttons, hit us up for that other sweater. If you like just one big button, this is <laughs> this is your piece. Yeah, it's a really basic top, but I was I was taking all the soft surroundings. There was none left in the store. I don't no. think. So. Even that. We even took that soft surroundings. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I mean, it just doesn't fit with all the other pieces, but hey. <laughs> it's just a long it's sleeve, so like, blouse. And then another one that are with some very unique. Actually, that's got a lot of, like, unique buttons on it. I bet that one is, like, something The other special. one had all different buttons, too. Yeah, but these are, like, different shapes and, like, I bet that one is it. Right there. Okay, that's it. All right. The, the moment okay. you all have been waiting for. The big ticket items of the day. Should Sarah? we tell them how we found, like, well, so I the don't... store was, like, closing. And I was like, we got to go up there before they close, because I hate to be that type of person that, like, it closes at 7, so you start to check out at 7. So I thought, we got to be up there, like, 6.40 at the latest. And I think it was getting close to that. And Andrew was over in the jackets. So I just, like, went over to him, was sifting around. And he came up to me, and he was talking to me, and I saw this label and I was like, I couldn't hear anything he said after that <laughs> because um, it's a bathing ape uh, hoodie. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if... And this is the stupid thing, like, in the vlog is the one I was talking about. I was like, I missed that. And this is a brand that I would have known because, like, when I was in high school, like, if you had a pair of bathing apes, like, you cool. were like, you know, that was it. And ba I think I only knew, like, one or two kids that had it them. Like... So, like, the fact that it was, like, that I missed that was just like, how? But these, like... 
retail for a ridiculous six amount of to money. seven hundred dollars um it's in an extra small it was just in the like i think he charged us a junior's price too because yeah. he was like in a junior's like section i was like i don't know what I, is, I was but... like am i looking at this right <laughs> to andrew like and yeah. he was like yeah i think what what is happening so there's that and then i kept then, looking and we like wait. threw it in the cart we were so excited and then there's another and one. And I looked and there was another one. <laughs> that's actually a size small, so that's even bigger. So And this one's in a little bit better shape, I think. Is it? They're a little bit different. Um yeah. But yeah, I, there was one like right next to it. I was like, I yeah. don't know what's happening, but we were, I was so excited. I think we probably paid four or five bucks for each of them. Yeah. And then after that, I was just like, yeah, I got to look else through. Matters. It was like nothing else matters. Let's well, nothing else. <laughs> no, I was like. I don't care what time it is. I'm looking through this entire rack. <laughs> um, we still were out way before the store. We were. We we we, did, we weren't those people that went up at seven. Um, yeah, but I still, still took some time to spend, like, or look through all of the things around yeah. it, because <laughs> I, you know, I was like, "There's two. There could be more." Um, that was really exciting. I yeah. think each one will get. Uh, I, I, you gotta do some more. So More research, but I there think a hundred for each. hundred and fifty, yeah. Um, there. but I just feel like also just like the like novelty of yeah. finding it is really. It's exciting. like I said, it's crazy because I would have never even thought about that brand again. But I like that made me think of like back in high school, like middle school and high school. Was like, I didn't even honestly, I couldn't have even told you it was like a luxury brand. I would have picked yeah. it up. I would have looked at it and picked it up just because of that. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, like I remember this. But I wouldn't have realized that it was like expensive. Yeah. Or so I'd say that's a if you've never heard of Bathing Ape, um, big Bolo brand. Bolo. Um, I think I only I might only know about it because of the song. I got me some Bathing Ape. Yeah. <laughs> why, why? But why would that make you know that it was like was sought after? I don't know. Why would that? But I must know like... more than I can remember. But that's at least that was in my head. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so Anyways, so very exciting. Moving on, uh, Nike six point oh windbreaker. I found that as I was going through like the rest of the jackets and stuff, um, and I think I was just like on a, I was on a roll. <laughs> I was like grabbing all sorts of stuff. This is a um, North Face like puffer vest. Didn't you say it was like? It's hundred percent down. I yeah, think goose down. Goose down. Insulation is goose down. Yeah, um, and so it's a women's. It's got a stain, or not stain, but it's just like kind of dirty. And I think it was still way but, worth it. Yeah. It's well, that's so food. that's one that I put back because I saw I had the stains, but I didn't realize it was down. So yeah. if it's down, it's down, you know. <laughs> and then I was, I told Andrew because I hadn't looked through the shoes, and I told him like. Go get started. I'm just gonna look real quick, and I found um, a few pairs, pairs of Crocs. Crocs. Which I love picking up Crocs. They're easy to clean up. Crocs um, they're awesome. really lightweight. These were two dollars. These like slip slides, slides, <laughs> slip slides. Slip slip slides. Slip yeah. Slip slides. <laughs> and then these like clogs were two ninety nine. Clogs. Um, and yeah, they're in good shape. I don't know what a reef. Yeah, reef. Um, I knew the brand. I think I, I paid up for them a little bit, but they're in such good shape. I paid five dollars for these, um, but I think I think we'll make our money on them. And yeah, I think they're actually really cute. So that was everything from that thrift store. How much did we spend at that thrift store? Almost like four hundred bucks. But we saw <laughs> a couple of jackets, some of the salt. I mean, you'll easily make money on that one. Of course, yeah. No, I'm not worried about that. It just Again, I'm not used to thrifting yeah. at stores like that. So well, that's, a, it's gonna that's make a big... You more money. Because there's some stuff in this. So in this Goodwill pile that we have, which is not near as big, we definitely paid up. But it's stuff where it's like, hey, we paid 30 bucks for it, but it's for sure going to sell for like 100 Well, that's way more than any of a lot of your bins items. I know. For, so like, I know. We're, maybe we're like... It takes money to make money. Maybe we're in the like big leagues now. We're in the big leagues. I don't leagues. know. I think we might be. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine <laughs> being in the big leagues. So... Um, yeah, Goodwill was mostly shoes, but like for starters, I'll let you go over your prized possessions. Okay, well, I showed this in the vlog that we just posted, but um, we were standing outside waiting for the Goodwill Sunday morning, and Andrew was like, where are you going first? <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to go to the shoes first. Um, I feel like that's just where I like to start. And so I just started looking through stuff, and like pretty much right off the bat, I just saw these like staring at me, and they are teaks. I don't know if you can tell. They're like a light blush pink. Um, store must have not known anything about it because they were priced at seven ninety nine. 
Um, and I looked up comps, and I am hoping to get a hundred easy out of these. Dang. Um, so yeah, they're like one of the first things I put in my car, and I am still just really excited about them because yeah. I have found teaks before, but when I got them home, I noticed they were damaged. Um, and these are in great, great condition. Great. So yeah, so excited. <laughs> so quite a few pairs of leggings here. Um, we'll Andrew went to active wear first. Yeah, I went to active wear because you know I had to try to find those Lululemon. Yeah. <laughs> Not a single pair of Lululemon leggings in that store. Those are Spanx. So yeah, we paid up for a few of these leggings, but I looked them up and, well, first of all, they're brand new. Most of them are brand new, basically. Um, and the Spanx, I think, are going to fetch like uh, 30 to 40. Um, they're like this moto like shell on them. And we paid eight dollars for those, and then the rest are Athleta, right? Most of them, I think. So yeah, I found several Athleta um, leggings. It was kind of hard to pick up though because like they're all priced like at like eight I to ten dollars. I think these the are like ten dollars. Yeah, and I was like, man, that's steep for some leggings. But like they're all pretty much brand new. Like they're all in like new condition. They're brand new. Like I would almost sell them as new. As new. Like <laughs> these ones here, like these are Athleta. Like all these were like ten bucks. They're all Athleta. And they're yeah. all like brand new. And you can so. see the style on them. So I was able to look up the exact style and look up sold comps. And the comps were in the 40 to 50 um, for sold. So um, I knew we were spending a lot of money. Yeah, but I spend, said yes to them because. You said yes to the. I yes said to yes the to the leggings. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they're awesome, actually. I'm excited to get those listed. So one thing, like, I, I used to ride dirt bikes a lot. I have to say used to because I haven't ridden in years. So it used to be <laughs> when people ask me, like, oh, what do you do for an auto? I say ride dirt bikes. But I don't feel like I can say that anymore because I don't ride dirt bikes. Um, I don't even have a dirt bike anymore. But anytime I see a motocross jersey, I know that it's, like, probably going to sell. They sell um, fast. Yeah. So this was uh, $13. Half pay, off. It was half off. So we paid six fifty, dollars um, And I'm sure that'll sell for It's least. in good shape. Some of the yeah. ones I've sold even have, like, well, they have like mud stains and, and stuff and um, riding, like yeah. riding them. And that's a Fox. The Fox 180. So yeah, I bet you you'll get at least close to 20 bucks for it. Yeah. Well, I like selling them because like I said, they're usually gone in a... Those are actually fun facts. Some of the first things we sold as resellers is like, we obviously like to build our inventory. We went through stuff that we thought we'd get. Yeah. And I had like two or three brand new sets of riding gear that I had never worn and mm -hmm. that I knew I wasn't going to... Well, they all were way too big for me. I Long story, but I lost a bunch of weight, so they didn't fit me anymore so yeah. sold all that yeah and they sold so fast so from then on i even knew we were picking them up <laughs> yeah i found these bad boys these were american eagles um they were half off so they're four bucks just, yeah. a pair of, just a solid pair of jean shorts yeah i'm always happy you... to pick up american eagle like i know some people won't pick it up like um eagle. but i think it sells quick i like that a lot of people know what size they are in american eagle um so i think that's part of why it sells quick um and yeah, it was half off, so... So, question, like, you wouldn't refer to these as jorts, would you? No. But why? They're jean shorts. They're jean shorts, but jorts are, like, men's. Yeah, but why? That's just a style. I don't but know. But they're still jean shorts. <laughs> you can call them jorts. Well, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, how come if I throw on a pair of jean shorts, I'm labeled as a jorts person? <laughs> but, if, but if you're a woman, you can just walk around willy-nilly with some jean shorts and not be called... And not say that they're jorts. No. Side note, though, if you find men's jean shorts, like vintage, they sell <laughs> pretty oh, these, well. Did I find these, too? Pro you yeah, did, yeah. I found all the leggings. You never went to the leggings. Mm -hmm. I scoured those bad boys. Yeah, so those Prana, are some Prana leggings. leggings. Prana always sells well for us. Yeah. I think we paid up a little bit for them, but just with knowing what we've got for stuff in the past. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't say. either. So it's a... It says Babaton, and it says made with wool on it. I just saw it, and sometimes when you've been reselling for a while, you just know, like, that's a nice brand, I think. So I looked up comps, and um, it needs a little steaming now that it's been sitting in a bag. But um, comps were going for, like, 40 to 50 bucks. Um, it's, I wish I knew. It's, it's a name, so something Babaton, um, B-A-B-T-O-N, if you want to look it up, but... Um, I think I paid, I paid 10 bucks for it, um, but I still, I really liked it, so picked it up. And then the rest are shoes. All shoes, and we did pretty well with the shoes. So this is a pair of Hoka's. You had like five pairs of Hoka's. There was a lot of Hoka's, but they were all $20. They were all 20 bucks. And I don't know, maybe you should have grabbed them, maybe not. No, but we were I'm already happy spending with... a bunch of money. So, These are in pretty good condition. 
I went through and I, because I've sold hokas before, like I think I've sold this exact shoe before. Yeah. Um, so I know what I'm going to hopefully get for size, them. What size are these? Oh, too small. I'd like to um, try on a pair of hokas. You should have looked. There might have been different sizes. I've said I would like a pair because they're so thick. I don't really run much anymore, but I just would like, like I always say I want to try them, but shoes are so expensive if you like. Uh, yeah no i know so we paid anyway. twenty dollars for them i what i went is i went back and i looked at, <laughs> and i looked at their conditions really well i picked out the ones that were in the best condition um and i just got the one pair but there were like five pairs of hokas in here yeah. so these you showed me and i was like those have got to be worth money so these are nikes they have like these like smoothie like they have like berries and stuff well, they're, the so they're like, youth i found yeah. um but i saw them at I could just tell they were different they were um, and I'll put good. comps here in the video. I looked up comps and sold, we're going for like a hundred to 115. Yeah. I knew I something think. unique. Like that's Nike. I feel like is one thing I know pretty well too, just because like growing up in Portland, like Nike was a big deal. So I know like you when, I, when like, I see a pair of Nikes, I can tell if it was like, if it's going to be like different. Or not. Yeah. But these definitely, like I could tell were not like a, like that they were unique yeah but speaking Me of too. i still have a lot of pair of old nikes that probably would sell for a lot of money i was just gonna say in so, the closet up here upstairs there are boxes and boxes yeah of i'm nikes. not nearly as into shoes i used to be in the <laughs> shoes i'm really not anymore i don't really care what shoes i'm wearing what do you mean you still like buying shoes oh i like buying crossfit shoes <laughs> okay, but you still... there's a difference between being like a sneaker head and like you know i love crossfit shoes but that's it like, okay. like i have a couple pairs of crossfit shoes but like so I don't have nearly as many as I have no. in the closet there anymore. Maybe the obsession has dwindled. Yeah, so those, like, a lot of those are actually probably, there's some that could be worth a lot of money. There's one pair that I know is worth a decent chunk. But anyway, a pair of Crocs, always a solid pair choice. pair of Crocs, half off, so I paid five bucks for them. Again, more than I pay at the bins for probably the exact same thing, but these are basically brand new. Um, so I was I was really happy to pay five bucks for them. Oh, oh this is another brand I had to look up. I saw them and I had no idea what the brand was. But again, like I feel like once you've been doing this for a while, you just kind of know like just what a label is going to look like, what the shoe is going to feel like. Um, these are Paul Greens and they're in pretty good shape. I can't remember comps. Um, I paid six bucks for them. I think the comps were in the 30 to $40 range. Um, and I just love selling shoes. I think they're... Shoes are so <laughs> nice because they're easy to photograph. They're easy to photograph. Super easy to photograph. <laughs> That's something I don't know if other resellers take into consideration. Yeah, I do I when I'm picking do. stuff up because otherwise we don't want to photograph it and it sits in our inventory <laughs> i mean unless it's a good I, unless it's something that's like wow like yeah but, but like, i take it it's something that adds yeah. like points i really like photographing jeans yeah i like jeans. to save jeans for you <laughs> jeans and shoes would be like my yeah idea. so something like this i thought it's going to take almost no time to photograph they're already really clean and in good condition and um yeah i like i was happy to pay six bucks for them some clarks Clarks, yeah, Clarks I've stopped picking up. Um, I like Clarks. I like that they're um, a nice brand, but um, these specifically I picked up because they're basically brand new, um, and I thought they'd be cute going into spring. I think they're like a larger size as well, and they were half off, so I paid $6 for them. Okay. There's um, Columbia's. Yes, I have found these exact shoes at the bins before as well. Um, again, I paid much more for them at the actual Goodwill. <laughs> um, but I know how much they go for. I think we sold that pair for 40 to 50 And I remember thinking I could have got more out of those because they sold like right away. Um, so these were half off so of 25 So I paid $12.50. Um, and I really think they're just like a women's snow boot. I think I can get... 50 to 60 easy um great size and yeah i i was really excited to see them sorrel only boot. a couple left yep. <laughs> um so they had a lot of sorrels there um and i looked at all of them i looked up comps i looked at their condition uh, again we were already spending so a much lot. money which yeah. maybe shouldn't matter but it well it shouldn't if we're gonna make a lot it. yeah like if you're gonna sell it like what were comps on those um they uh, easily like 
75 to 100. And they're basically new. Like, yeah, they're, like, like brand new. Is like, yeah, there's nothing, like, they haven't been worn. Like, was, if they've been worn, it's been only inside. Inside, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we paid $30 for them, which, ouch. Yeah. But, again, like, they're, they're, ba- they're brand new. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I, I actually think they're really cute, too, if they're my size. Maybe you I'd, would still sell them for $100. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Were. I think they're so cute. I love the style. Like, I just, yeah, these are the only ones I think we kept of the Sorel boots, but, um, yeah, yeah. A couple pairs. again, paying $30 and, yeah. I don't know. So, we also paid, well, no, we paid 25 for We these. paid less for me, those. I think they were a mess up. <laughs> to me, these were just as exciting or more than the Teaks. Those are exciting. These, so this is a pair of Doc Martin. Doc Martens. High top boots. Basically brand, brand new. new. Like the bottom, same idea. If somebody wore them, they did not wear them outside. Yeah. Like they, the bottom is like brand new. Yeah, there's um, like no wear on them. Yeah. I would say these are just as exciting. I mean, we paid 25 bucks for them, but what'd you say comps were? Like 100 Easily, easily 100 yeah. yeah. So like, here's the thing. I'll buy $25, $25 items all day if it's going to make me a, Well, yeah, because your profit's going to be way more than what? 75 bucks, like... I mean, figure fees, all that. Like, say you even say you even made fifty bucks on it, which is not realistic. Like, you're gonna make more than that. I would spend twenty five dollars all day long just to make fifty. Yeah, and again, yeah, you you take everything into consideration, and it's also like I don't have to clean them. They're gonna take almost no time to photograph and yeah. get listed. The style number is right there. It yeah. it was an easy yes for me, and easy. they actually had easy another pair yes. of Doc Martens. Yeah, they did, huh? That were but a little were... more worn for more money. Yeah. So, so I some... think the $25 might have been a little bit of a goof, um, but I obviously didn't say anything. <laughs> um, yeah, so but that's, that's everything. That is the last item. So that is our haul. Overall, how do you rate it? Um, Our, our best sourcing trip ever. You think? The best ever. You're going to, just like that, you're going to put that label on it. I'm going to. I'm I'm so excited. Even like, Ben's trips? Okay, I'd say, yeah, it was fun. Like, it was a fun sourcing trip. No, it was fun, yeah. What are you saying as far as, like, what you think we'll make off of this? Uh-huh. Well, which one? Both. Both? The most fun? Just yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes (laughs) yes to everything? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say it was a lot of fun. I enjoy it. It's the first time I've actually been able to go in a long time. Mm -hmm. Because you, she, Sarah's been going to the Ben's. I, um... Yeah, like on those days, like I stay home with our daughter and I just haven't been out sourcing like that, like yeah. putting in the work like that. So it was fun to get out, learn a little bit, learn some new brands. And I'm kind of like, part of me like wants to go to the bins myself like this week or something. <laughs> or like next week, just I like, want you to. I probably will before like the baby comes. Yeah. Just to like, I don't know. I feel like I could do pretty well. Yeah. But And what we didn't say in this video, we said it in the vlog, but this was like our official unofficial like baby yeah. moon it was our last like night away before the baby comes yeah. um and we were like what do you want to do yeah. <laughs> and somehow we ended up well i think we even thought we were going to go do some other stuff while we were there yeah but the thrifting was just so good that we did <laughs> that we didn't i mean we went to dinner but like that's obviously got to eat so yeah we didn't like go do anything other than thrift but yeah. i enjoyed it i don't we of still spent like quality time just the yeah. two of us and yeah had a ton of fun and um hopefully we'll make a lot of money off yeah, of it <laughs> yeah. i'm always down to make some money yeah so, so yeah hopefully you enjoyed uh going through all the items with us if you like what you saw please smash that follow or sorry that like and subscribe button um until next time andrew and sarah out, out. <laughs>